still I wanted to, um, to let you know what our times were for uh, May 3rd. We had the 6th Annual Chippewa Unity Walk and Round Dance uh, that we founded um, six years ago. But um, the reason I wanted to get up and uh, I wanted to get up and let you know um, the Unity Walk. Um, we founded that to try to unify the Chippewas in, in, the, in the city. There's like three or four different Chippewa bands here. And also with the different tribes that live here in Great Falls that are considered urban Indians. And so um, this year, uh, I wanted to dedicate the Unity Walk to my parents, who both passed on. Uh, my father was a civil rights leader, and he worked hard for Indian rights. He fought hard in the state of Montana as well in, into Canada. Uh, he was a full blood, full blood Chippewa, but he worked with a lot of Métis people. And he spoke both languages fluently. So the, uh, the Cree people in Canada, um, they kind of used him as an interpreter because he's, he was fluent in both languages. So what I'd like to do is dedicate this walk this year to my parents. And while all my family members are here, um, I will need help organizing the food and also um, I want to see everybody out there, especially from my family, to, to come and show your um, to come and show your, uh, your love and your support for my parents who work very hard in this community to uh, keep, it, keep this Indian culture alive and our spirituality. I mean, they, they suffered living on Hill 57 with no plumbing, no inside heat, no federal recognition, and this is why I I want to see my family there, and then those of you, a lot of you that are here, have worked with our family for years. And so I just wanted to ask for everybody's support on this walk. We'll be starting in the Fairgrounds parking lot, and we'll be uh, walking to Hill 57. The cultural center there is where we'll end our walk. And every year we usually have Junior Slim John, our elder from White Swan, Washington, he will be following in a car behind us. And if any anybody wants to bring your tribal flags, um, your, your signs of support, um, the civil rights issues are still an ongoing thing. And the judicial system here is not fair. The native population, we're the lowest population here in Montana, but why are we the highest population in the state prison system? Why are all our native brothers sitting in there? And our native sisters? There is a problem there. That's why I, I would like and, I, and, and we try to do what we can to unify people in this community and to show that we care and that, that we're here, we're not going away, and that, that we, we, well, we want people to unify, to make, to, to make a difference. I mean, when my father was alive, he fought for Indian rights. Um, these native kids, when they want to go to school, they want to go to college, 
that Indian fee waiver that they did, he's the one who pushed that. So they basically, when they're federally recognized, they basically get to go to school for free. And it's people like him that, that stand up in the past and fought for our rights. And then when it comes to this flag behind us, this is an ongoing case. Uh, my family has returned, or retained, excuse me, we retained an attorney just now to fight for our, our, our rights here. And my parents were, uh, they were slammed in the media here. My father was called a thief. And my mother, they were both defamed by his own people. My father was defamed by his own people. So that's, that's one of the reasons that I wanted to, to dedicate this walk this year to them. Because they both worked hard for our Indian rights and our Indian culture to keep it alive in the city, the state, in this region, and even into Canada. So I want to see my family members to get together and help organize the food. And I want to see you out there walking, riding in a car. I don't care. I want to see you out there to show your love, your appreciation, and your support for these two people. So that brown dance is May 3rd, Saturday, May 3rd, at the Little Shell Cultural Center, which will be the grand opening of it. And this is at Hill 57. So I just wanted to invite all of you to the Unity Walk. I'd like to see a lot of you out there walking to show support for Unity in, 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 our, in our community here. And thanks for coming out. Thank you.
half a man. We beat Tori now. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I was like, hmm. I didn't hear that part, but damn hearing it's bad. <laughs> That's why I was like, hmm. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> hey, one of our, he's a shirt tail cousin, is Kyle Spearson. He's early 20s. He's one of the drummers. He's supposed to be here tonight. He wound up in jail for some reason. <laughs> He said they were nice to me. They let me out after six days. <laughs> he looked at six months. Wow. I think it was probably a drunk driving charge. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I never did tell you what happened with that last one I got into, huh? Hmm? Excuse me. That last one I got in trouble with? Let's step back a little bit, wait a minute. I got that cop Oh. We <laughs> wish.
mom. She's told me her, her dad, her dad's dad, were there at the World Big Home together. She said, uh, in to help clean up the mass and the remains, and they sent mom's dad in to uh, clean up the Indian remains. <laughs> They probably got a fight there. She got a lot of fights in two weeks. They give them plenty of beer and whiskey and so. stuff. I guess they go pretty wild back in there. I guess. Yeah, sure. Uh oh, I get to get one back now. <laughs> well, Custer, Custer deserves every bit of that. Huh? You deserve every bit of that. You got it. sweater in this thing. You know they have those uh, redneck jokes, you know, up there that you see on TV and they always uh, yeah. talk about you might be a redneck kid. <laughs> well, I was talking to my cousin Ron there and we started joking around that, uh, you know, we started laughing at some things yes. and you could be I, uh, if you get your car place. starts with a screwdriver. I've got uh, <laughs> a side uh, We do have a birthday girl here. Uh, her birthday was a couple days ago. And uh, she had her birthday party today. A kid's song song. And uh, are you ready yet? So is there a, a Coco Hayes? Where's Coco Hayes at? 
Oh my goodness, it's happy birthday, Coco Hayes, six years old. Let's everybody get up and dance for a birthday, Coco Hayes, birthday. head one direction and I was going to go the other direction and my hand slipped on the chain and I didn't want to let yeah. it drop. It, it jerked me forward and pulled my shoulder pretty hard and I want to fall forward onto the train. We wish, thank you very much. A couple uh, days later, it started to start a song. It was hurt. Uh, uh, so 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 about 10 o'clock. Also, I'd like to say that right, we got a right, uh, right, 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 Every time there's a call for the mentor and tell whether it's a call or a run desk, this representative shows up and uh, helps solve it. He's probably fixed it up. Just wants to help out. I got the sound. 
Probably see the doctor have to take an x ray first. So, what it is, because it could be a lot of irritation there anyway. He uh, wind up and, uh, getting shot every now and then. Which is Joe Alexander? Where did he do it? Because I don't want to notice. Which? What's that, Bob? Where's Joe? Where's Joe? Where's Joe? Where's Joe? I don't know. Yeah. He's sitting on the Yeah, he's got them there. How much is it? A dollar each. Uh, well, I got a couple here. Uh, uh, mm, I guess. You sure? Yeah, if I win, I'll split it with you then. I have Bubba Hayes. Please come up to the William and Coco Hayes. Isaiah Bug, if you want to come up. It's an honor for me to thank Mr. Randall Whistling Elk from the Northern Cheyenne Nation, with which he has a, a gift that he'd like to present for the birthday girl, Miss uh, Coco Hayes. Here we go with these uh, redneck jokes again, but uh, Ron pointed out another Indian one for me, so I'm going to go ahead and say it. You could be an Indian if you used a pickup line, say, those are some slick wranglers, perhaps I could talk you out of them. <laughs> You're getting me in trouble up here, Ron.
Okay, Dan and Singer is very ready. Uh, Webb's getting ready here for this uh, for a giveaway for our brother-in-law, uh, Faye Gopher. Uh, let's think of him tonight. Many others that we might think of have lost over the years, but uh, whenever you guys are ready,
Who the hell is that laundry looking thing? That's me and my uh, that's Martha, that's V, that's uh, in Arkansas. <laughs> okay, for the 50-50 here we have, uh, we have a raised total of $51, and uh, the card that was drawn was a <coughs> king of clubs. It's been a long time since I played cards. Sorry. Oh, kind of clubs? King of Clubs. King of Clubs. Not mine. Oh, that's me! <laughs> Fix! Fix! Oh, I've got to bring some long drop in there. <laughs> yeah, I'll send him some moral. <laughs> um, I was just informed here that. Uh... There's my other dog. Uh, $10 dog dog. We'll get to a personal uh, thing. The little thing we got, the little spoiled chihuahua. Oh, yeah. correction to that. Miranda Strawberries Over donated 20 to the singers. Mm -hmm. So give her a round, round of applause. We 
got all the kids, call them all the children, all the children, you don't want to miss out on the children's hands. No, Ron, that doesn't mean you. You're 30 plus years old. Nice try. Logan, where's Logan? He's a big kid. Get in there, Logan. <laughs> Look there. Yeah, plug this in.
And I'm just going to inform that uh, Sylvia Chippewa Gate, that her grandson has donated $10 to the singers. The wish. See? See the bottom card. What? See the bottom card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got more items to give away. So kids, kids, get back in line or if anybody else wants to come up, we got some more giveaway items here. Come and get what you want here. We got some good stuff. Oh, Uncle Glenn, he's got a big smile on his face. He thinks he's Santa Claus. Family, your mom's side of the family. 
Did you know that... Haven't been able to get them, though. Do you know that I'm on the TSA terrorist list? I'm on the TSA's terrorist list. Transportation Safety Administration? Huh? TSA? The Transportation Safety Administration? You're a terrorist? I must be. <laughs> I was leaving Little Rock. <laughs> And instead of having me go through the metal detector, yeah, they made me go into the X-ray machine. And then, I don't know. What's that? Is there any food left over? More coffee? Is there any food left over? Yeah, the food's all gone. You want, you want this? And in the honor and the memory of my little brother. It's turkey. Yeah. But before we do that, I want to just say a, a eulogy about my uh, late brother. He was, uh, uh, he liked round dances, he liked powwows. Uh, but anyway, he was pretty well known the in the uh, Pacific the Northwest. Then they took he, me uh, to another station. Uh, and I took a swab and went over both my hands and put it in a machine and it came up uh, with a bomb residue. And uh, I had the privilege of seeing it with my brother. So they had to search everything in mine. Everything, and, and, uh, everything on my bag. You know, I, I think about bomb residue. And, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I just want to say a few yeah. words about You know, him. and I think that was fixed. Uh, he was a... Uh, Probably. Uh, oh, and then they, then, uh, then they took me in. Two, two of the women took me in the that that small room and, uh, and uh, gave me a body he, uh, <laughs> Well, uh, so I'm not the 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 go down to that, uh, See, that's what you get uh, for posting anti-government stuff on Facebook. Would, uh, I handle explosives myself in my job, so... And then he would tie it behind the house. You know, as you got or get is if you blow it off, just say, like, what, what did he shoot a gun and get a test out. It was just, just messing with it. So I did, and there was a cat tied up there. Because... And I don't, said, You're not to I'm not around cash. that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's what he did, you know. So, he how could they get it off my hand? They're just a chronic animal lover, you know. That's profile what he, uh, uh, That's what he liked. And sometimes, you know, he, he would, uh, uh, there would be different things tied up. Uh huh. Yeah. It's been a number of years since they said that they did. And, uh, you know, that's the way, uh, uh, that's the way he lived. Oh, right out of the middle of there. Uh, what's that old uh, Indian uh, people from there? I just wanted to say a few words about him. And, I can't make a name, but... Anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, they live down there. It's, uh, she used to live in those towns. She's kind of a kill of first cousins. So that's why we were uh, mom, this, uh, daughter, mom, and daughter. And I only seen her one time. That was back in... Uh, well, uh, 15, 15, and, uh, 15. You know, he'll always be around there. So I thought it was her and her They got more pictures, you know. I said, the stuff I had. And remember the years. Uh, but I heard she's a little... And, uh, huh. It's very weird, but we can't see them. So what does that you mean know, if they pro uh, uh, profile me like that? Well, oh, they just kicked you out of the crowd, and, uh, like, oh, it's the best so of her. That's what I asked. Nah, they had, they didn't even look in your record or nothing. And, uh, that's uh, nothing to do with profiling uh, that uh, way. They just picked you out of the crowd and said, oh, she looks suspicious. Trust me. I deal with the ATF. FBI. Because I have to have explosives. I'm a driller. Uh, shot hole driller. I drill holes and put dynamite in. So what looks so suspicious about me? Because I'm Native American? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, it just depends. Your looks, the vehicle you're driving. Indian. United Methodist Church for allowing us to have this in this yeah. Well, next time I go to Arkansas, I'm driving. <laughs> they, they, they took my drum racks away from me last year for some misdemeanor 14 years ago. But yet they still have me have explosives. What's wrong with that picture? 
And I want to thank the people. I don't know. Uh, What's wrong with them? Why can't I have guns? I know. If they let me handle explosives, um, you know, sure, it's all wrong. Away, so it does. Like and uh, I'm asking each and every one of you just well, to remain seated. And, uh, I'm always supposed to be anti-government. Stuff on my I'm always going to join us. Oh, you we do. Always. He needs to leave. Uh, with that, exactly. Uh, okay, singers. You can sing the other song. <laughs> That's a, is that a flying bear? That's a flying bear, huh? Oh. Uh, the same what we're going to do here is we're just going to go around here and uh, pass out these uh, gifts. So just remain seated where you're at and um, we'll uh, come around and uh, hopefully we'll have enough gifts for everybody. Thank you.
Too big for me. Hmm? Too big for me. Those ought to fit you, huh? Huh? Those ought to fit you, huh? They're too big. They're too big. No. I mean, they're too small. Can you fit them? They're too big for me. Blanket there. Yeah. You see Michael Flesh's feet? Yeah. Oh my god, 17s? What? He's got 17 good things like that. Oh Look at Bigfoot Blush, man. How tall is he? 6'1, maybe. Is that all? And he's got big feet. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Special made? Yeah, he's got a special order. <laughs> Yeah, he ain't that big a boy for him. He big a feet. Well, you got another one, huh? There you go. <laughs> Take that blank hook on it. Cool. Yeah, that quilt dad one, that had been 33 years ago. I think that was actually the first Matisse gathering. I think wasn't so, it? yeah. Uh, here you go. Oh. Want a handmade quilt? This is the best, but I don't know if it's here. Ah, because I don't, I don't even think I was in high school yet. Like that. like that was in 80, 81. Liz, we was in my not. Might have been 80. I can't remember what year it was. Yeah, mom kept pretty good care of that thing. Thank you. I think, I think that's when I come out to uh, remember that 55 Chevy wagon. That I had. white one that you sold to Greg? Yeah. I think that's when I come back and got that. Or was it? I, I, it's been I come a while. Out, I, come out, uh, I think I rode across an Amtrak. They don't. Can't remember. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. I, don't, I, I think I might have just been turning ninth grade or so when you got that. You that old? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was about 80, 79 or 80. It was the first, I think it was the first Matisse down there. Past your bedtime, huh? I'm a little beat today. I, I took I take a couple of painkillers about 11, I guess it was. <clears throat> Don't like taking them, but man, I had to. Yeah, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> I have done nobody again. Do you guys have hats? You guys can put your hat and cups on. Every now and then I'll forget about it and I'll be in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm uh, just being informed there's a box here that, that was donated by some of our people where we live in, in those apartments. So feel free to come look in that box. There, there's some good stuff in there. Just come and look at whatever you, whatever you want in that table. Thank you. 
cataract surgery done both eyes. Got to see forever right now. Can't see close, but reading glasses. I didn't realize. I didn't realize as blind as I was. <laughs> Yeah, I guess those cataracts, what's it start? Fill them over your eyes. Everything's a and I got the vision back. Never been able to, you know, I can never ever remember being able to see, you know, with, with, without glasses. Mm -hmm. And everything just like the eternal light saw. Wow. <clears throat> Patrick Zeman, you look familiar. Probably, I know I met you. Probably met I my know, younger brother, I Dick. Met. Richard. Oh, Richard. Yeah. 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 He died a year ago, in January. Mm. So. Yeah, I'm a veteran. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but you look really familiar. Yeah, probably, probably Dick, the younger brother. Oh, he's a hellraiser from way back. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, if you're ex-military, you ain't. <laughs> yeah. Been there, huh? <laughs> All right, we've got some young ladies here. Uh, we'd like to do a blanket song for the singers. Who the hell he was? So if you guys want to sing a good song. As you know, the... Thank you, buddy. Drum is a life force and a hard to beat of any ceremony that like is it. common in our Native American culture. So let's honor our singers tonight and uh, give them a good hand uh, for, for singing and, and being here all night long uh, supporting this uh, ceremony in remembrance of uh, Bane, Jake Cooper, uh, the witch. Thank you very much, singers. <laughs>
Looks like, huh? Are they done? Facebook, look under that 
people, places, and things. Under what? People, places, and things. Above your little picture there. Ben Stewart. Ben Stewart. Ben Stewart. And we'll see a picture of the mission. I just wanted to uh, ben ben. say a few words on behalf of my family. I want to thank them for being here and helping, helping out with their uh, with their time, and uh, I see some of them donated money to these singers, and I want to thank them for that. And uh, like I said, you know, my brother was a uh, was was a, was a, a singer himself. You know, you you went all over the uh, Pacific Northwest to uh, attend powwows, and uh, I just want to. Thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for helping out. I want to thank uh, Ronald Wendy Boy over there. He, he's always helping us out when we have round dances, you know. So, you know, people, old, people, old timers used to tell me if you help out in, in, in a uh, round dance, you know, it's, uh, it's like. Uh, you're, you're giving that person uh, the respect of, uh, of that deceased person. And there's not a day that goes by. I think about my great brother, and I was always close to him. That's why, you know, it's hard for me uh, to, to do this uh, ceremony here. And, and uh, you know, I've been involved in a lot of memorials, but this one here, it kind of, uh, uh, it really uh, bothers me, you know, because I was so close to my brother. There we go. And uh, that I just There's want to thank the other side uh, the these uh, singers that, that are yeah. uh, in the middle here, especially uh, uh, Dan, can you stand up, Dan? <laughs> Can you give us a really round of applause? So anyway, the other ones that are here, you know, some of them I don't, I don't know you, but you know, you, you, you guys made my, made my day and made my evening. You eased the pain for me for a little bit here, but at the same time, by you guys uh, being here and helping out, you know, it, 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 it eases my pain. But at the same time, uh, um, after this is over, we all have, have to go to our, our own directions. And what I want to say is, I want to wish everybody that's in here long lasting life, good health, that's what I want to wish for you guys, and I hope that you guys take something home from here this evening. And uh, the ones that came from out of town, you know, I hope your, your road will be guided, and uh, you'll make it home safely. And uh, the ones that are uh, live here, hopefully also too, you know, uh, I hope you uh, reach your, your home uh, the way the way you left it, and that's so, uh, what I'm, uh, it's kind of uh, hard for me to be up here to uh, uh, thank you guys, you know, I don't know how to, how to thank you for coming here, and I hope that, uh, that the food that we served you, I hope that was, uh, was a good meal, and, and uh, my brother used to like to eat, so that, that's why we, um, I and my wife here, we were in this building here since 7.30 this morning. She was cooking. And I'd just like to, uh, Rosia, uh, stand there, huh? Would you guys give her a nice round of applause? She cooked all day. <laughs> So was that, uh, 
I know the young guys want to sing there. I know they do, so. So if you guys want to go ahead and sing, you know, go ahead and sing. <laughs> hey, Kyle, you better behave there. <laughs> He's a singer too. Yeah. He's a singer. That kind of a singer.
Ooh. Mm. So get me a little more coffee. About it. I'll bring the napkin back. He gets into this stuff pretty good, huh? Yes. Yeah. Um, the total on this last 50 50 was 26, so half would be 13. So, can I get someone from that table over there to come up and draw a card? Yeah. Get your cards out, people. I'm, I'm pretty sure this will be our last uh, drawing for the night. These don't matter no more, do they? And I want to thank all of you for. Uh, <laughs> Better than for uh, buying yeah, two old cards. cards. Yeah. He's here every oh, year yeah. uh, to support us and help out, so he's a good hand. Everybody got your cards out? Okay. Yeah, the red ones. Yeah. Oh, those are old cards. <laughs> okay, the main card that from that table Eight of spades. Eight of spades. Eight of spades. Somebody has to have that hat. What did they say? Eight of spades? Yeah, in the red deck. Eight of spades. Go in once. Go in twice. Go in twice. Eight of spades. If you don't show up in 10 seconds, I'm going to choose again. Pick again. Eight of spades. I know one lady donated her cards to the singers. Did you guys check all your cards? Go go, go, go check your cards. She didn't give you one? She said she did. The red ones. Not nothing? Okay.
doesn't ask for much, and he's, he's a good man. And he's single, ladies. He's single, good looking. Has his own place, money, income every month. This video, this video will be on uh, the uh, reunification site, reunification of the Hill Shell Tribe Facebook site. Probably about two weeks. Okay. I sent a car down to Texas. He converts it over, and he'll have all your names on it. This part of it. I gave him my name, but my name's Calvin Gone. Yeah, he'll, uh, Richard's gonna give me all the information tomorrow. I'll have him. Uh, it's gonna be a YouTube video and. Uh, on our, uh, it's an outlaw, <laughs> outlaw site from the Montana Little Chow. Yeah, take it easy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Take care, guys. Well, I guess we can shut this off here. She was in the kitchen. What's that? Curly, this is for the little shell power. We wanted to donate that from our family. <laughs> oh, 13 and 5. What's 13 and 5? 18. Here's $18. I suppose, eh? Yeah. Again, I'd like to thank everybody I got you for, the, uh, for this drawing <laughs> and the honor of uh, 